All right, Mike, good to have you join yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. And you know how this song goes, crazy things are happening by Thames. <laughs> you think you've heard it all until you hear certain things that make you go, wow, people are indeed crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a story that is um, currently trending about a lady who discovered that a sister's landlord and a fellow tenant were tapping from a big generator her sister just bought. Fancy in this economy with the cost of fuel and everything, you buy yourself a new generator mm. just to at least make, because there are some areas in, yeah. in Lagos right now that don't have electricity, especially Bande areas. I don't know how come. But they've not, Bande, my, mm. my brother, they've not had electricity for some days now, since Thursday, I believe. And so uh, maybe that's why she bought the gen. I'm just assuming mm. that's why. But whatever the case may be, the landlord of the place she stays and a fellow tenant found a way to get themselves connected to that generator. And we're tapping electricity off it. If they're even tapping, it's even good. But they were tapping it for other uses that wow. we're making it impossible wow. for the generator to carry, you know, the things she bought it for, like the freezer and yeah. stuff. So, <laughs> you know, there's just something about... Um, uh, so there's a special type of peace and calm you need to pray for when you live in a place where there are a lot of tenants. Uh, I, I can remember a particular friend of mine who used to live in uh, what, what is now considered the, I think that Circle Mall Junction in Lekki. It's Lekki. It was Lekki Beach Road back in the day. And there was a particular house there that if you enter the compound, you see a string of at least 15 generators because the building was like, uh, like a hostel setup, like, like about 15 one-room self-contained flats. So there were gens right around. I was just trying to imagine the kind of noise pollution that would be coming from that particular area, mm. right? And the amount of times people's fuel would have been stolen, mm. how many times people would be looking for their engine oil, their cable, their battery. I was just like, you have to have a special kind of peace when you're living in a place like that. Funny enough, yeah, it doesn't always, true. yeah. Very true. And, um, you know, now you just even mentioned it, yeah. At your, I mean, I'm still in places where even just two, one, two gens are even more than enough yeah. mm. to pollute, to mess you up, to, mm -hmm. you know, to just Deprive get, you, get you out of sync. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just two. Mm -hmm. How much more? When you say you see a line uh -uh. or something, I don't even want to imagine what those kind of people will be going through. But, th but then this one, this issue now you're talking about, where it is not the first time that we've heard things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. We've heard different ways of people tap it. Uh, we've even heard uh, internet. In fact, it was a particular time when oh, I don't even know how. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, Wi-Fi. Tapping water too you know, <laughs> from your tank. How people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. people have found a way to uh, crack your mm -hmm. where your password mm -hmm. Wi-Fi you mm -hmm. just find out that ah I buy two gig or the two gig no last two minutes. I see they buy two gig. <laughs> what you get my what you don't know? go. So mm -hmm. exactly and then you just find and then if you had a way to check and all that. But this what they are people like that. Either they find a way through yeah. some wiring in your mm -hmm. house. People do it without your knowledge. Yes. yes. It, wow. it can yes. happen. It wow. does happen. In fact and then some of them now would even load more things than you would load. Than you do. You know, you that know, that's the thing that blows my mind. That phenomenon comes from people. I want to also talk about other people. People used to borrow perfume. Uh, <laughs> this one is borrow perfume. They are, they, are, they are the next set of people. You buy <laughs> expensive perfume. Buff, you buy a perfume. You just do. Pss, pss, uh, your own then you perfume. You now borrow oh, someone. Pss, pss, uh, you uh, do. Pss, pss, pss. I can't wait for my uh, videos uh, how they use it. Oh, yeah. Then you now give somebody who. <laughs> They turn inside bucket and pour it on their body. <laughs> you don't be like, it, there's that thing of there's wow. that thing of when somebody gives you something and it's free. I don't know. There's just that thing that's pushing you. Let me <laughs> let me maximize the opportunity. <laughs> or when you are eating and you say, okay, oh, let me pay for your food. Okay, please, can you give me four more meats? Wow. And, <laughs> like, seriously, is, you it, know, is it a culture thing though? It's not know. a culture thing. Now let me blow your mind. I don't know if you guys remember or you've probably even seen this video of an elderly Caucasian who went to his neighbor's house. He knocked and he went, Oga, okay, he won't say Oga, but it, was, it was like, Oga, your Wi-Fi, why did you password it? <laughs> <laughs> and now that you have passworded it, Can please you... give me the password. Wow. And they were, they were stunned. Like, this thing, they recorded it. Wow. And the man was like, if you know you want neighborly peace, uh -uh. I'm not kidding. Jeez. You should give me that password because I've been using this Wi-Fi with you for the longest time without issues. Why did you password it? 
Wow. wow. When, when, if I did not see that video, I would not when, have when believed it. When people want to pay for seclusion mm. in some ways and it be, is expensive, these are some of the reasons why. Wow. Mm. Wow. Because yeah. people can be That's why people a bit... want landlords. By yeah. uh, were they not landlords? A I'm talking about you are living in a, a street where oh, everybody so has a bungalow. And the next you. door neighbor, like your, the next bungalow, is the one coming to knock I, at I, your I, door. I, you know, I think as a country, things are hard enough. And the best that we can do is not to eat another person. Not to, we should try not as to in, do a dog yeah. eat dog kind of yeah. Yeah. way. Yeah. I think that's the best we can do from everything that we do. Another Another it's, thing that happens a lot in, in these compounds is, is the parking situation. Imagine one particular family having four cars and everybody else having one. No, why will you have four cars and you're not the landlord? Wait, there, there are people that just come and park cars in a particular compound. Oh, park. And then, okay. yes, whether they, they own it or not, maybe they have one to take the kids to school, one for the wife, one for the husband. Let's even say three. And then there's only space for six cars in the compound. But guess what? There are six flats in that compound. So how do you want to do it? So the, my question is, how are they entering the flat, uh, the compound uh, to park? They will come, it's first come, first serve now. And then in the morning, you now go around and start knocking everybody's door. Yeah, please come and move your car. That's what happens. And I, 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 are I, going I, through it. I would right say in that now. kind of situation, the caretaker is to blame. Either the caretaker or the landlord. Because <laughs> I would expect that you lay some laws down or you leave. Ah. You cannot inconvenience. How can you have six flats? And the six flats, each person has a car. Yeah, I mean, then you, you now take the parking space of three people instead of just one. It's that, that's why when people, um, house hunting is, a, is an ordeal for, is an ordeal for a lot. I, I, yeah. I would have expected that with the age of social media and, of course, online agencies, it would be easier. But then what you see versus what you, you, what get you are to, go there, yes. that's yes. two very different things. Someone, yes. I, some, someone recently sent me, um, you know, a picture of someone on the island and she was like she was coming and she wanted to look at like oh i saw it i was like ah man where is this place the price was very okay yeah and all of that mm. oh, the video everything was just so nice mm. ah, i was thinking that ah, me myself i feel go there go stay this mm. place like this so <laughs> i think just uh, i think just sent me a message later and was grumbling that she has stressed the audience ah wow. how far that place you saw now she said ah when she went there the entrance self is from another house. Wow. <laughs> that was the first one. Another the, compound. The entrance was from the main house. So it was more or less like a she mini flat a, level a, BQ. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't, it wasn't detached. Wow. She should manage it. You now. understand? No, it was yeah. and the entrance how? The entrance is the entrance going was going through house. somebody else's. Yeah, but that means the person is trying to let out a part of their house to you save. Know? So and if then they, they took the door from the outside of the building. Yeah. What if the house is upstairs? They are funny. No, forget. They are funny. I, I, even, I, I saw a house. This one was the kitchen and the restroom were together in the same eh? space. You, talk, okay, you, do like, you do your hand like this. Mm. The sink and kitchen, like this. Toilet. Does the WC. Wow. So back to this other one. Uh, like, sure you know that wow. one way people save oh, money wow. in many countries <laughs> oh, wow. is to By actually letting, let in, you know, to actually let out a room in their yeah. house. So what if the person created that there small, mini flat? There are small spaces. In fact, in the UK, um, if there's this particular place where you don't, they, they don't even let it out as per monthly or weekly. Is hourly. Hourly. So wow. people come in, sleep, and go out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Sleep is like three hours you're having between mm -hmm. your jobs or four mm -hmm. hours. You just come in. The place basically is a compartment that can take a body and a half. Mm -hmm. You just sleep and go out. Oh, okay. you see, it is done in such, even though they are deplorable yeah. conditions, by yeah. the way. But it's done in such a way that um, our own, the way we mix up things, like, like I said, I if know. someone should put a WC and the kitchen in the same one line place, I, but the way they do that one, yeah. they pack it. I know. I mean, in the, you, you know that housing, the yeah. housing deficit is also much there. Yeah. They plan themselves in such a way that it's very tight, mm -hmm. tight spaces and all of that. I mean, we, we, we all, Honestly. We, some of us have been there. Ah. We've been there and there, but it's even worse now. You have some places you have to turn sideways to just walk. Through, New York, and they think about which is about the most expensive city it. on earth. That's which where you have that yes. thing the most. And you pay. They pay house. hourly. They pay yeah, hourly to just, Lagos, and the way, the way wow. they even sleep, they just do like this. <laughs> just four hours, you are done. Somebody else is knocking, it's just done, and you're out. Hmm. That's okay. crazy, but we, really, in this economy, please let's be considerate that your friend or your colleague or your neighbor bought a generator. It could have been higher purchase or some kind of maybe payment on uh, monthly payment stuff. Don't think the person has money. Even if the person has money, it doesn't give you a right to tap out of it. There are people they are taking care yeah, of, and you might not be one of them. The owner, no, they yes, are. now, it's, it's, it's just wrong. By the way, Mike, you look good today. Here's a little motivation for you. Hmm? 
Success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out. So don't shy away from those little wins today, all right? And uh, remember, laughter and smiles are free. Use them generously. Let's keep the energy flowing in. My name is Mary Bashua Alimi. Now, don't forget to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to stay part of the conversation. And you can catch us live from wherever you are by downloading the TVC app from the Google Play Store or iOS. Now, also ensure you follow us across all social media platforms uh, via at TVC Entertainment underscore.